What's going on, listeners? This is Brother Leon, and you are tuning in to the Brother Leon Show. Today, I'm not going to be before you long. Um, The one thing I want to request from you guys is that you begin to lift me up because I had an episode this morning. I had to take my wife to the hospital, and and, uh, it was just crazy because going to the hospital and then you know, I had to drop her off and then I was going to park the car and then I was thinking that, okay, I'm going to be able to go inside. They would not let me inside. And so that in itself, it's like, you know, I need to see what's going on. I need to make sure that she's okay. You know, because when you are connected to a person, you know, you just throw it all out the window. You just want to make sure, hey, I just want to make sure that my wife is okay. And I ain't going to lie. I tried twice. And I said, let me let this go before next thing I know, man, I don't want to cause no incident. And here comes security and here come the police. And, you know, I understand that the times that we are in are desperate. And so I'm asking your prayers, you know, just to keep me up. Um, you know, there is no coronavirus. I think the thing is, is that it was just some underlying issues, you know, with her health and everything of that nature. But the thing is, is that I I see beyond a shadow of a doubt that, yo, it's real out here. It's real out here in these streets. And if, you know, you have a loved one that's in the hospital, you know, the hospitals, they are limiting people. And that's why I'm saying what I'm saying, man. Do not take, you know, the unnecessary risk. There are necessary risks that you have to take. I had to take one today. And when I got there, they, hey, we'll take care of your wife. You can't come in. And that's how I was. And, and, even with those who are in assisted living facilities, essential personnel only, no visitors. And the crazy part about all of this is that, you know, we really have to keep our elders in prayer. And that's why I said what I said, because in some the state in which I live, the virus is even breaking out in some of the assisted um, living facilities. So I want you guys to be aware, man, you know, a lot of people saying it's a hoax and a lot of people are saying you need to have faith and da, 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 da. And it's easy to say that until that mess comes and visits your house. Now, granted, you know, I had the peace of God and everything, and I know what I've been, been, been quoting and everything like that. But my thing is, is that you know, this is my wife. So I got her. I was praying. I was confessing the word over her. But the thing that hit me hardest is not being able to go with her. That's what hit me hard. And so I want you guys to be encouraged just in case you may be facing that. And that is why, man, we pray. That is why we send the word of the Lord because we may not be able to get in contact. We may not be able to go with them. But the one thing that I do know is that God can even keep you in that and God will keep your loved one even with that. So I'm going to go to um, to the Psalms and we're in Psalms chapter seven in our series, 91 Psalms for 91 days. So I'm, I'm going at Psalms verse seven. Um, Psalms chapter seven, I'm sorry, Ch- Psalms chapter seven, verse 10. My defense is of God, which saveth the upright in heart. Father, I thank you, Lord God, for your word. I thank you for the listeners. I thank you, Father, Lord God, that you keep us and that, Lord God, that you are our defense, that you will fight for us. I thank you, Lord God, that you will compass us about with favor as with a shield. So, Lord, we lift up each other today because your word says, bear you one another's burden. So, Father, I bear the burden of the listener and I thank you that the burden of the listeners, Lord God, you have given to me. And I uplift it in prayer. And I thank you that they uplift me as well, Lord God. And so, Father, I thank you. I send grace to them. I send peace to them. I send faith to them in the name of Jesus that all things will work together for their good. So, Father, I thank you for the listeners this morning. And I decree over you right now that everything will be okay, that all things will work together for your good, and that you will not lose hope, that you will not lose sight of faith that you will not lose sight of the word in the name of Jesus. I decree this over you in Jesus name. You be blessed and I'm praying for you and I ask that you pray for me. Be blessed.